YouTube, this is AC Dodd. Uh, welcome to my hopefully new uh, run, which is called On the Road with AC Dodd. And this is where I go around uh, visiting my customers and um, performing tune ups on their cars and setting up their carburetors and timing, ignition timing, etc. etc. Anyway, hopefully, you'll find it useful. In the car, we've reached our destination. Uh, the Smallings one's very local, uh, in fact, it's still in Salisbury. So uh, that doesn't happen very often because sometimes I have to drive halfway across the country or to the other end of the country. But in this case, nice and local. Uh, the first car today is an Austin A30. And here we are, lovely little car. Nice Austin A30. This one's fitted with a uh, 1098 Morris Minor engine. Uh, here we are running nice and uh, smoothly. Um, this is before tuning, so now we've got to investigate what the customer uh, has, has told me, which is effectively we've got a, uh, a bit of a flat spot at low RPM and some jerking. So we need to investigate. As this is the first episode, I thought I'd add this in uh, for those people who are um, looking to use companies to do their tuning for them. Shown here is my needle machine, which is what I use for uh, polishing needles. Uh, unfortunately, some other businesses um, tend to use uh, files and things like that for making needles, which is not ideal for the HS type carbs or the carbs with the swinging needles as shown above. This example was uh, done very poorly with a hand file, uh, which actually ruined the part throttle drivability and the, the manners of the engine. Um, when you see something like this, don't accept it. This is purely um, a competency issue on the part of the operators that do this activity. This practice comes from the old days when people used to file flats on needles in the old uh, fixed needle carbs. Unfortunately, with the swinging needle or the bias sprung type, the problem comes about that uh, the needle actually rotates. And once the needle rotates, it can act as a saw on the uh, jet and actually wear the jet out. So, as I say, if you see this, uh, bring it to the attention of the company because it's, uh, it, it's not the right thing to be doing. Now let's get back to Gordon's car and see how we got on. All right, Gordon, um, I've just come down this morning to tune your car. Um, how did you hear about uh, finding out about me? So uh, I went to get the, the kit uh, to rebuild a carburetor from Berlin Fuel Systems here in Salisbury and uh, I was explaining I had difficulties and they suggested uh, that I come to you. Uh, so I contacted you through Facebook, uh, really good comms and you've come out and uh, you spent a morning here with the car. Um, and with the best will in the world as a, as a, a private owner and a DIY enthusiast uh, playing with these cars for 30 years, you can only get so much done, but uh, you've come out, you've done a fantastic job uh, spending some great deal of time uh, and energy uh, sourcing the problems uh, with the carburetor and the distributors uh, and fixing them. Uh, you got all the kit and I'm really chuffed with, uh, with the results on this. It was running so much better than it was before, uh, much more performance and some really good uh, suggestions on how to make, uh, make it a little bit better. So thank you very much for, for all your time this morning. It's been, it's been really good and I've learned a lot myself from you. Thanks very much, Gordon. Uh, I really appreciate those comments. Um, the interesting thing to add as well is um, the Gordon's car wasn't wasn't quite straightforward, so it did fight us a, a little bit along the way, um, uh, including the fact it's got a very, very sensitive carburetor on it. So uh, hopefully in the future with the suggestions I've made that that, that, that uh, should be able to not only improve performance, but obviously get rid of um, the uh, the very sensitive throttle issue that you have as well. Yeah, the other thing is that uh, I like the fact that you, you know how to repair things and fix things. It's not just uh, old stuff out and new stuff in. It's actually repairing what we've got. And it's, it's old school, old school engineering at its best. So thank you very much for what you've done today. Thank you very much, Gordon. All right. Bye-bye. So Gordon's uh, little A30, that went rather well. It took me a long time, actually. There was a number of faults with that one. Um, didn't take too long to get the carburetor needle sorted out. Uh, the AN needle that was fitted uh, was it was um, it was going from far too lean. Uh, so the, when the mixture nut was set lean, as soon as you open the throttle, it went very very rich uh, to the point where uh, it was actually causing the the engine to misfire and put the fire out because it was so rich. So 
uh, I had to go through my needle stash and find something more suitable, which I did. And then I was able to dial that carb in. It was probably one of the most sensitive uh, HS2 carbs I've ever come across. So uh, one of the things that we suggested there was to upgrade that engine to a HS4 if you wanted more performance. Um, um, because obviously the 1098 engine with a HS2 is always a little bit restricted. Uh, and the other issue we found was um, it had an electronic ignition kit fitted to the 25D Dizzy um, and unfortunately the cam on it was loose um, on the uh, the magnetic pickup uh, so therefore when you touch the throttle it was moving about so uh, I went to I went to fix that and unfortunately the um, uh, the electronic ignition unit gave up so I had to convert it back to points which is why it took me a little bit longer than perhaps it would normally do but uh, in the end, he had a car that ran a lot better, uh, had uh, a lot more ignition advance on it, and the vacuum unit was changed as well because that that was uh, that was also faulty. So um, uh, yeah, all in all, uh, he ended up with a car that ran a lot better. The next car is uh, a little 998 with a Stage One kit, I think, and that's down in Portsmouth. So uh, let's get on it. This is John's Mini 998 currently being tuned and here's John hello how'd you hear about me John so I heard about you through uh, midweek minis excellent excellent uh, and I think that's because I had a, uh, a tune-up day down there oof, earlier in the year I think that's right yeah excellent um so why is it you called me out I called you out because I want to get this ready for its MOT uh, get it back on the road after two and a half three years it's been off the road um, but running it up and down it just sounded like him feeling like it's hunting and just uh, popping through second and third gear So um, yeah, get an expert round. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do. Brilliant. Thanks. Well, then John You've been out for a quick test drive after the tune-up. What do you think? It's night and day So um, yeah before it was hunting popping misfiring you name it. It was doing it now It's like a you know brand new car pretty much it um, didn't miss a beat just took around the block there wheel spun in second it's never wheel spun in first let alone second so um yeah more than happy with that so you're quite happy with the part throttle drivability there just a bit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> excellent that. excellent Brilliant. what this one needed was uh effectively uh, a different needle in the carburetor its main issue though uh was the spark plugs so it had some um, bosch super fours which are, are not ideal for a mini they're not they're not a problem for other cars with higher energy ignition but for a mini you really need a conventional plug so just put some VP6s in it and gapped them at 25 thou, and then uh, changed the needle. Um, amazingly, the needle in the carburetor didn't need any modification. Um, it does happen every now and then, put it in, and this one fueled correctly, so. Together with the stage one kit, uh, this will run rather well. Um, one of the other things that uh, uh, was wrong with it was it wasn't actually getting full throttle. So when you push the accelerator down, uh, it was only opening the throttle about a third of the way. So um, a quick adjustment of the cable uh, saw that one sorted. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Berlin Fuel Systems for recommending Gordon to bring his little A30 to me. Hopefully, I've done him proud. I'll catch you lot at the next one. Bye.